the real physical body. Um, this is not what I had planned for today, but actually right in the middle of attempting to make another video, um, there was a, a comment made to a comment that I made on uh, a video of, of riches. And so I'm going to use this as a springboard because I'm having a challenging time getting my energy to an appropriate uh, place to talk <laughs> today. So this was the comment. The, actually the tail end of what I said was this. At this point in time, humanity is not collectively nor individually, for the most part, experiencing the real physical body. It is experiencing a limited version of it, cut off from the rest of its reality. The response that came back from 8 Meg is, the real physical body, the physical body is crude, all capital letters. Humanity experiencing a limited version of it cut off. That seems normal for this human experience. You wouldn't want to expect much more from it. Otherwise, it could be a big deal. Um, first, uh, thank you, 8 Meg, for your perspective. Uh, I appreciate your comment. Uh, I have a bit of a different perspective on the physical body, and I'm going to talk about that for a few minutes here. It may or may not make sense to you. It may or may not make sense to anyone. Um, I don't even grasp it all the way. It's just, it's just the perspective that makes sense to me right now and what I am opening myself more to at this moment. And so I'll start off by saying that um, I don't at this time believe in any set fixed reality. And therefore, in my perspective, the physical body is not a set, fixed thing. Um, the physical body is an idea. It is an idea composed of light particles. Light particles whose essence is love. Therefore, in my view, the physical body is perfect. It's perfected. It is love. It is an extension of love. And that's sort of what I meant by cut off from the rest of its reality. Um, if you leave out what a thing is in its essence, if you cut it off from that, then yes, it can be experienced in any number of ways, including as limited and crude. Um, but when you start opening, no, when I started opening to the idea that love is the essence of all things, then I naturally began opening to um, the idea of all being in perfection now and always, and the only imperfection that could arise is my own self-impose limited version or view of a thing, if that makes sense. Now, 
a part of what I have also now come to feel is that it was my mission and a lot of people's mission who are here on the planet at this time uh, to enter that self-imposed limited view um, of reality, of the world, of physicality, of who we are, to enter that limitation and shatter it. To shatter it by bringing back into it the essence of what it is, by bringing into it that love which is extending it. That love which this world is a manifestation of. And so I'm here in the limited view, experiencing the limited view and through the, the life that I am, through the life that I'm living, shattering it by grounding love here through me. By being the place here on earth where love flows through. And by love, I don't mean the feeling of love. I mean the source of all that is. Now, there's a lot of detail I am going to uh, have to uh, leave out of this uh, based on our time parameter here. Um, but the core idea behind all of this is this simply this the more you go in the more you go out the more you go into your light the more light radiates out from you the more you go into your love the more love extends out from you. The more you go in to your microcosmic center, your essence, the more of that essence goes out from you into your body, into your world, into the cosmos, into all that is. And this is when you begin experiencing the real world, the real physical body.